Hello, it's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, and we are here for the Amigurumi mod. This is the kickoff. We are so ready for spring and to bring new life to a pattern. And that can be Amigurumi mod. Join us in this hashtag, Craftably Ever After and I. We love challenging each other and we would love to challenge you. Send us your pics in an email. Um, I need mine in a couple of days in advance. So let's go over some dates and then I'll show you what I picked. So here are the dates. Kicking it off now, March 20th, and this will continue until April 21st. April 21st is your absolute last day to send pics by email only. And that is so that you can be entered into our giveaway. And we are both having a giveaway and you can enter on both giveaways. And then we will broadcast reveal on April 24th the Amigurumi mod projects what we did as well as your projects and I just can't wait to see what you come up with okay now a little bit about Amigurumi mod so you're just going to take a simple project like pillow bear here and incorporate something else whether it be a sewn patch an apple K, a maybe some felting or embroidery. So taking a simple pattern like this and then adding some other type of medium. Now here are some mediums just off the top of my head. Embroidery, sewing, um, wool, felting, puffy paint, paper mache, um, cricket maybe, cricket stuff, maybe something that you've made on the cricket and applying it. I mean, whatever you choose, it's going to be great and fantastic. And here's another option, right? So here is another little basic. This is my Valentine monster from Monsterdom. And I embroidered some flowers. Now this was part of the pattern. Oh, beading, jewelry. There's a other couple of types of modifications that you can do so cute um also which is kind of cool but diy stuff so adding something to the pattern that wasn't normally there like here on my gnome so i added this heart wood plate as his feet modified so it's very simple how you can embellish, improve, or modify your Amigurumi project to be something unique and different. Okay, so here are some other projects with some embroidery. This is a great practice, these little eggs, and then you practice your embroidery. This was my first embroidery project. I did this last year and I put these out because of Easter around the corner. And yeah, so these little projects I got from Zines and Rogers. See, she has a tutorial for this egg and the embroidery. Okay, are you ready to see what I picked as my pattern to modify? Here it is. And then I'll show you the giveaway. This is what I'm choosing as my Amigurumi project to modify. But not only am I going to modify it in what it is, this is actually a kangaroo. I'm, I'm going to completely change it from not a kangaroo. It's not no longer going to be a kangaroo. <laughs> So I'm going to change this to be something else. And I went to Hobby Lobby. Everyone's talking about their Hobby Lobby clearances that is early. Not me, not here. And I'm so glad and thankful because I don't need more yarn right now. But I went to go look. <laughs> so this is something that I picked up. They had this beautiful lace with this pearl. This the end here got crinkled up, but it's really pretty. I bought this whole roll for a buck twenty-nine. So this was on clearance. I also bought some flowers. 
because maybe it will be incorporated into this and maybe it won't. These were on clearance for 74 cents and they have a little jewel in the middle. Some of them have a diamond and yeah, they all have the yellow and blue have diamonds in the middle. And then this one is more, um, more natural looking. No, no center. It's more lace and mesh. So I just picked those few things up. Oh, by the way, I got this pattern off of Ravelry. So it's only available on Ravelry, I believe. So I plan on incorporating some sewing and of course, modifying the pattern completely from what it's supposed to be. I'm gonna, you're not gonna recognize it, <laughs> at least in my thoughts. It should be unrecognizable. Like that's that pattern. And so I'm going to try and incorporate some sewing, of course, because that's what I'm getting into right now. I would like to incorporate bead, beads and jewelry um, and embroidery. Oh, and of course, um, cross stitch. You can also try and incorporate cross stitch. I know a lot of patterns like you could cross stitch something in your pattern. You just take a pattern and... Well, I've never done cross stitch, but you can definitely cross stitch and there are actually patterns with cross stitch in them. Okay, now for the giveaway. For uh, You can enter on both Craftably Ever After and my videos by submitting your pictures through email only. And this is the prize. This book, this one has my name on it, but this one is for the giveaway your own spring gnome book. And this is where I got the pattern for this gnome and a $25 Etsy card. I just like that I can be able to give you something instantly and then you can expect another prize coming in the post. So that way you are covered. At least you're getting some instant gratification and something expecting some happy mail. So that is the giveaway. Go and check out Craftably Ever After. Find out what she picked as her modification. And be sure to tag us on Instagram, Amigurumi Mod. And we can try to help you. Like what patterns you're thinking about. What can we suggest? And I'm not sure if we're going to show our projects. Um our thinking and our process each week. We haven't decided that yet, but if I do decide to share my bits and pieces as we go, I will let you know. And um, let's have fun. Let's encourage one another and we shall see you soon.